In today's data-centric world, mastering data analysis is critical for overcoming business challenges and making informed decisions. And with a growing demand for professionals in this field, establishing the right data analyst roadmap can be critical to launching a successful career. If you're looking for a structured, guided path to become a successful data analyst, stay tuned until the end of this video. But before we begin, make sure to like, share and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from the Edureka's YouTube channel. Also, check out Edureka's Data Analyst Certification course, the link to which is given in the description box below. Now, let's quickly go over today's agenda. We will explore why you should consider becoming a data analyst, what data analysis involves, how to start your journey in this field, and the exciting career opportunities and earning potential it offers. Next, the future scope of data analysis, and finally, we will wrap up with a conclusion. So, let's dive in. First, let's understand why become a data analyst. So, data analysts play an important role in today's data-driven world. As businesses increasingly rely on data to drive their strategies, the need for skilled data analysts grows. Here are some important reasons why become a data analyst in an excellent career choice. First, due to its high demand. Organizations in various industries including marketing, e-commerce, healthcare, and finance require data specialists to derive actionable insights. And the second reason is good pay packages. Data analysts typically earn competitive salaries and with experience, they can progress to higher paying roles like data scientist or business analyst. Next, various career paths. You can work in various fields such as social media, business intelligence, and sports analytics. Next is the flexible career path. If you can analyze data, you can switch to positions like project manager, consultant, or data scientist. Next, constant learning. The industry provides continuous changes to pick up new skills, programming languages, and tools, which keeps the work interesting and dynamic. Now that we know why should we become a data analyst, so let's discover what data analysis is. Well, data analysis is the process of reviewing, cleaning, and organizing data to identify patterns and trends. This knowledge can help you make better decisions in many industries, including marketing, technology, healthcare, and finance. And this is how it works. First, cleaning up the data. The analyst begins by correcting any errors or discrepancies in the data. And this ensures the accuracy of the results. Next, shaping the data. They then convert the unprocessed data into a more easily analyzed format such as tables or graphs. Next is the modeling the data. Finally, models and formulas are used to generate predictions and identify patterns in the data. Now we will learn the necessary skills to become a data analyst. First, a solid understanding of mathematics and statistics is essential for data analysis because this principle serves as the foundation for accurately analyzing and interpreting data. Mathematics aids in understanding patterns, trends, and relationships in data, whereas statistics provides tools for making sense of variability and uncertainty in data. And some of the mathematical concepts to learn to become a data analyst include mean, median, and mode. This central tendency measures, summarizes data by determining the average, middle, or most frequent value. Next, standard deviation and variance describes how much data points deviate from the mean, providing insights into data dispersions. Next, the probability is necessary for predicting outcomes, understanding likelihood, and using probabilistic models in decision making. And then the hypothesis testing. This method aids in drawing data-driven conclusions by testing assumptions and calculating statistical significance. And mastering these concepts is critical for extracting insights, drawing conclusions, and facilitating decision-making through data analysis. The next critical step is to build strong Excel skills. Excel, a popular data analysis tool, is still used in many businesses. Concentrate on mastering core features like functions, I.O. tables, and charts which are essential for effectively organizing, analyzing, and visualizing data. And some important contributors will be create and manage worksheets, then learn important formulas like count, min or max, and average, then use advanced functions like concatenate, sumif, countif, sum product, we look up, and so on. And then use pivot tables and conditional formatting to summarize and analyze data, followed by Various types of charts will be used to demonstrate your findings. Next, use sensitivity analysis to learn how different variables affect your data. 
then building Gantt charts or financial statement. After mastering Excel, the next step is to learn SQL which stands for Structured Query Language. A powerful yet easy to learn language for mastering and querying databases, enabling efficient access, organize and analysis of data. So begin by learning the basics such as writing queries with select, insert, update and delete statements. Then progress to more advanced concepts like joins, group by and subqueries to handle complex data operations. Then start by learning the fundamentals of Python, a versatile and widely used language for data analysis. Its simplicity and extensive library support make it ideal for both newcomers and seasoned professionals. So focus on essential libraries such as Pandas for data manipulations and NumPy for numerical computations. While you may come across R, another popular data analysis language, it is recommended that you start with Python because of its versatility and broader use cases. Once you have mastered Python, you can discover how R excels in statistical computing and visualizations with powerful packages designed specifically for statistical modeling and graphical displays. It's frequently used in academic and research settings. Next, Git is useful in data analysis because it manages and tracks changes to scripts, notebooks, and data workflows. It promotes collaborations by allowing multiple analysts to work on the same project without conflict, ensures analysis reproducibility by keeping track of changes, and integrates with data pipelines. Git also facilitates collaborations among data engineers and scientists by providing version control for code and processes. Next, data collection and preparation. Collection and preparation involves gathering raw data from a variety of sources and cleaning it before analysis. This includes removing duplicates, managing missing values, and ensuring data consistency. Using Python libraries such as Pandas, you can manipulate and transform data into analysis-ready format. Mastering data cleaning and transformation is critical for achieving accurate and consistent results. Next is the data visualization. Data visualization is critical for identifying patterns, trends, and insights, and effectively communicating results. And to create statistic visualizations, you should master Python libraries such as Matplotlib and Seaborn. Then, familiarize yourself with business intelligence tools such as Tableau and Power BI, which enable the creation of interactive, Shareable dashboards. Power BI stands out due to its growing popularity and seamless integration with other Microsoft tools. Next, machine learning. A solid understanding of machine learning is advantageous for any data analyst. Machine learning trains computers to make data driven predictions. So, if you want to learn, start with the fundamentals, which include Python libraries like TensorFlow and Scikit-learn. And as you progress, you will be able to explore more advanced methods and tools. Then, Moving on to big data. So when working with large data sets, big data tools become indispensable. Big data involves efficiently processing and managing massive amounts of data. Hadoop and Spark are essential tools for dealing with large amounts of data. Following this roadmap will help you develop the skills needed to apply for a data analyst position. And as you have understood how to become a data analyst, let us look at the data analyst career opportunities with salary. So first, let us talk about the entry-level data analyst. To apply for this role, you need a bachelor's degree in mathematics, statistics, economics, finance, computer science, or a related field. Required skills include data extraction, manipulation, analysis, visualization tools, dimensional modeling, data warehousing, advanced Excel for reporting, and mid-level SQL proficiency. Along with this, you need to have strong communication skills are essential and knowledge of industries like healthcare, finance, or pharmaceuticals is a plus and mentoring experience is preferred. As you can see, I have added a screenshot from LinkedIn of who is hiring for this position and I have already explained to you all the skills that I've mentioned here. Let us discuss the salary for an entry-level data analyst. In India, entry-level data analysts earn an average of 8 lakhs per year, whereas in the United States, they earn around $85,662 per year. Alright, next, moving on to mid-level data analyst. The position requires knowledge of Oracle Analytics tools such as Oracle Analytical Cloud, OBIEE, and Fusion Analytics, and strong BI ETL design skills, proficient in Power BI or Tableau, and experience with ETL tools such as ODI or Informatica are preferred. And then, delivering tailored POCs, workshops, and data solutions 
engaging stakeholders and fostering effective communications and relationships are all part of the job. And as you can see, I have added a screenshot from LinkedIn of who is hiring for this position. And I have already explained to you all the skills that are mentioned here. Now, let us discuss the salary for a mid-level data analyst. In India, a mid-level data analyst earn an average of 12 lakhs per year, whereas in the United States, they earn an average of $116,452 annually. Next, moving on to the senior level data analyst. The data analytics specialist will develop and manage dashboards using Spotfire and Tableau, analyze data for insights, write and optimize SQL or PLSQL queries, collaborate with teams for tailored analytics solutions, ensure data integrity and resolve issues in analytics tools and pipelines while staying current with industry trends. And as you can see, I have added a screenshot from LinkedIn of who is hiring for this position and I have already explained to you all the skills that are mentioned here. Now let us discuss the salary for a senior level data analyst. In India, a senior level data analyst earn an average of 20 lakhs per year, whereas in the United States, they earn an average of $119,000 annually. And as the demand grows, it's crucial to understand the future scope of data analysis. So, the ITC study highlights key trends in data and analytics, such as the convergence of data intelligence and AI, the adoption of data as a product architectures, and the emergence of generative AI. This requires data analysts to work with complex, dynamic data environments and use advanced AI tools to extract insights from unstructured data. As the role of chief data and analytics officers evolves, data analysts will play an increasingly important role in data governance, security, and assisting organizations in adapting AI-driven solutions. And to become a successful data analyst, you must be committed to continuous learning and have the necessary skill set and hold a certified certification. So for that, check out Edureka's data analyst course, which includes expert-led instructions in Python, statistical analysis, exploratory analysis, and data visualization with Tableau and Power BI. It will help you to prepare for a successful data analytics career. And this step-by-step -step roadmap will serve as a comprehensive guide to developing the necessary skills and knowledge. So accept the data-driven era and plan to excel as a data analyst. And with this, we have come to an end to this video on data analyst roadmap. If you enjoyed it, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Also, do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.